what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overload here we're going to be talking about megan in this video here today we're actually going to be talking about the megan universe because it looks like we're expanding beyond what i thought we were going to build up to which was megan versus chucky forget that we have a new universe for for megan the megan verse i guess you could call it so today we got this report from the hollywood reporter several several other reputable trades that megan is going to not only have one next movie that's on the way but a second one a spinoff if you will megan is getting a horror spinoff titled soulmate from atomic monster and blumhouse the report from the hollywood reporter goes on to say megan the hit horror movie from james wan's atomic monster and jason blum's blumhouse is getting a spinoff the two companies known for their horror output are an active development on soulmate a thriller that expands the megan universe according to wan and blum who are producing the project Soulmate is on the fast, fast track. The project is already dated for a January 2nd, 2026 release via Universal. That's a similar birth as Megan, which opened January 6th, 2023, before going on to dance its way to 181 million worldwide. Kate Dolan, who helmed the 2021 thriller You Were Not My Mother, which I vividly recall watching one time and I thought that was great, is on board to direct the feature. She also rewrote the script, which was originally written by Raphael Jordan. The story is by Juan Ingrid Baisu and Jordan. Described as an erotic thriller, the film sees a man acquire an artificially intelligent android to cope with the loss of his recently deceased wife in an attempt to create a truly sentient partner. He inadvertently turns a harmless love bot into a deadly soulmate. It's funny how this sounds very similar to a new line horror picture that's about to drop. Keep in mind what I just said there. It's very similar to a movie that New Line Cinema is about to drop. Very similar not exactly the same, but very similar. It says here the project aims to harken back to the domestic thrillers from the 1990s, but with a modern technological twist. And then they have this quote here from Dolan. Fundamentally, I view this film as an exploration of relationships and loneliness. Despite technological advances, there are enduring human truths that we cannot escape. And I am looking forward to delving into those depths. Michael Clear and Justin Scott of Wants Atomic Monster Matter are executive producing along with Basu. Elena Gestal is the is the executive overseeing the project for Atomic Monster. Soulmate is a thrilling and seductive addiction or addition to the Megan universe, stated one. That growing universe includes Megan 2.0, the sequel, which is set to open June 27, 2025. Stars Allison Williams and Violet McGraw are returning. Yada, yada, yada. This sounds intriguing, but I already know those of you are going to comment down below. Probably are already thinking. Does everything need a universe? The answer is no. That does not mean that every universe that is birthed doesn't end up being something that is of quality. I have faith that this movie could actually end up being better than the Megan film that we already have that started this now labeled universe. I have very strong feelings that this can end up being something that speaks to a lot of people much more than the Megan film itself, especially if you're someone who's lost a spouse. Uh, not that, of course, a story with children who have lost their parents and looking for someone to cope in isn't something that's relatable as we saw in that original film but for adults this film could speak a lot more to them and anyone who's been in a situation where you've lost a loved one and of course it's a lot more mature depending on how it's depicted it could just vibe a lot better for those people who loved megan but are a bit more of the old in the older crowd in the older demographic Whatever they cook up with Soulmate, if everything is executed well, I could see someone like myself preferring Soulmate over Megan. It's just quite honest. Now, that does not mean that it's going to be good. It could end up being one of the worst things that I've ever seen. Uh, this film that the director has directed in the past, I think that film dropped in 2021. You're Not My Mother or whatever the title was. I think I saw that movie once. I thought it was really good. So... I'm excited to see what they have to cook up and have to offer with this Megan spinoff. And hopefully everything goes according to plan. I will do my best to start gathering information if I can find any. I'm not going to promise that I will be able to find anything because I didn't even know that this was happening. The only information I've been able to find on Megan as of late was that rumor I dropped back in January at this point, which had damning evidence that i just i just did not want to put out there because i didn't know who it could get in trouble the evidence of course related to the fact that the sequel megan 2.0 is going to be centered on this new doll potentially named amelia and amelia and megan are going to be battling it out they're doing some type of t2 approach that was all i was able to gather really on megan i had no idea they were cooking up a spinoff to that film 
hopefully everything goes according to plan for them hopefully soulmate is something that is of quality and also here's the other thing what if it's done in the vein of misery if it's done in the vein of misery that should be really good to experience just something to throw out there i'm just thinking about how this bot <laughs> could could indeed take that type of approach where they don't want this man to leave the house they're very overprotective they don't want him to go to work he starts to lose everything around him you know it just could be it could be a very very diabolical story to see unfold and of course also the themes about how we need to let go of the people we lose and cope in a more healthier way than what is out there in the market now for us as consumers when you can go buy sex bots or pleasure bots as i like to say and that is very unhealthy especially if you're grieving because that is not the most appropriate way to grieve you should grieve with genuine connections not a machine a machine can only get you so far a machine is not going to ever have the ability that a human connection will have never just never will so i cannot wait to see this film hopefully it again turns out to be something that is of quality i myself again personally do see this being better than megan i think it will just speak to a lot more people of the older demographic who enjoyed what megan was for what it was but if this one is able to appeal to them a lot better has a more serious tone this could be the film that i prefer over megan you guys let me know what you think about this down in the comment section below are you looking forward to soulmate and are you again someone who thinks that universes are not something that every ip needs i can understand that and you are looking forward to seeing this movie fail i get that too if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notification and miss a video in the description i'll have links to all my social media accounts i am on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course let me know if there are any movies news or reviews you would like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video